Y'all, stand with me, and together we'll go to D.C. and we'll show these soft politicians how we do things in Texas. I don't claim to be perfect, but uh, I don't believe I'm a racist. I don't believe Ms. Hagar is a racist. And to me, when they suggest that somehow this is not a matter of individual responsibility, but it somehow is systemic, that, that, just, uh, that just doesn't ring true to me. Do you support decriminalizing marijuana? I think before we answer that question, we need to have some very uh, comprehensive research done on the effect of marijuana, THC, the active ingredient on the developing brains of children. I have a lot of experience with the effects, the medicinal effects. Um, a lot of uh, military veterans that have PTSD that can ease those symptoms through that. Um, I don't support giving it to children. Um, I think we should regulate it like tobacco and, and uh, we should benefit from the taxes on it as well. Um, but I do think we should decriminalize it because it has also led to a disproportionate impact to communities of color of the incarceration epidemic in this country. Um, the private the private prisons and detention centers that are donating to his campaign want it to stay that way, though. Okay. You're going to hear a lot of Pelosi and Schumer and other names because he can't run against my vision for this state. Chuck Schumer, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi, Mayor de Blasio, the first vote she will cast will be for Chuck Schumer as the leader. I'm MJ Hagar. I'm a Purple Heart combat veteran and a working mom of two, and I am your opponent. I'm the person you're running against, as inconvenient as that is for you. It's my ideas and my support in this state that you're going to have to face in this election. Last month, you voted on a stimulus package that did not include a direct payment. What do you say to Texans who can't make ends meet? Well, as I said, Gromer, we've, we've actually tried to do everything we can to throw a lifeline to those individuals in the first uh, four packages, included a direct payment to individuals who, through no fault of their own, found themselves out of work. He just said they've done everything they can. So it's seconds. time for him to step aside and let those of us who have good ideas and have made life and death decisions before that have led to people getting rescued off the battlefield like I have uh, instead of the life and death decisions that he's caved under pressure under and have caused millions of people to die. Children by and large tolerate the virus well and are not, not, not hospitalization is not part of the uh, does not result. This absolutely does impact children and, and they don't tolerate it well. We saw in New York, I think it was 65 kids had inflammatory organ symptoms. I, I don't know what the I don't remember what the technical term of, of it was, but as a concerned parent, I was damn sure paying attention. Ask yourself if you've heard these promises from Senator Cornyn before, and then ask yourself why he hasn't been able to deliver on them. In the 18 years he's had in the Senate, a third of that time, he's had the majority in the House and the Senate and the White House. We have got way too much D.C. in government and not nearly enough Texas. Y'all, stand with me. And together, we'll go to D.C. and we'll show these soft politicians how we do things in Texas. <laughs>